Our first honoree is a respected economist, a trusted advisor and policymaker, and an educator of great renown. She's also shattered glass ceilings throughout her career. Dr. Elizabeth Bailey, Betsy, as she is known to her friends, began her career among the first generation of women to enter the modern workforce. During the days, really, when too many employees still didn't, still thought, I should say, only a man could handle technical work. Betsy proved, however, that she was talented, ambitious, and determined. And when doors opened, she entered. She earned a master's degree in mathematics from Stevens in 1966, and then she became the first female doctoral candidate in economics at Princeton. Later, President Jimmy Carter appointed her as the first female commissioner of the Civil Aeronautics Board, where she helped deregulate the airline industry. Betsy has served on numerous corporate boards, where she was often the first of only woman in that case. Everywhere she went, she proved her merit. And in doing so, she helped cement opportunities for all of the deserving women who have followed. An expert in economic regulation, market forces, and corporate social responsibility, Betsy taught at Yale, served as a dean at Carnegie Mellon, and is a professor emeritus at the Wharton School. She was a longtime trustee of the Brookings Institution and is an elected member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. She's bridged scholarship and public service, and she had shared policy and influenced the policymakers of today and tomorrow. For that tremendous impact, we honor Dr. Elizabeth Bailey with the Distinguished Alumni Award for Academia and Government. I'm very honored to receive this award. I was sort of stunned when I got a, the call from uh, Joe uh, announcing it uh, on my behalf. So um, I'm very pleased about it. I entered Stevens in the fall of 1964. And um, that was the year the Civil Rights Act passed. And there, that's relevant because I was working at Bell Laboratories and um, I was a technical aide, and I, along with other women uh, computer programmers at the time, were, were not given a career path possibility to become a member of the technical staff. And coming to Stevens enabled me to, to do that, and Bell Labs basically had to review all of its women college graduates and um, give them the same opportunities for a further education and a master's degree that the men had. So that was a kind of a pioneer, that was the first pioneering thing that I was a part of. And uh, it pleased me no end to be able to come here. I majored in mathematics and computer science and that helped me uh, at Bell Labs directly, particularly my new numerical analysis course that I remember. Um, but it also gave me a base. When I was in college, I had not taken mathematics. And it, the math courses that I took here really enabled me to go on and get a PhD. Because economics at the time was being very influenced by both math and computer science. There was, and my PhD thesis was very mathematically inclined. So I am truly grateful for the base that Stevens gave me that enabled me to go in, on in, in my career. I, I was, um, uh, after 17 years at Bell Laboratories, and uh, Bell Laboratories seems to have had a huge influence on Stevens in ter terms of the number of graduates that uh, it has that, ha that serve also at the labs. When I went to government, um, I was part of the team that deregulated the airline. So if anybody has a, a complaint about airline deregulation, which I'm sure you all have, yeah, the buck stops here. <laughs> so I, I was recently in an alumni event at Stevens uh, in Washington, and I heard that the return on investment of Stephen graduates has been, uh, causes a ranking of uh, maybe the top three schools in the country in terms of return on, 
investment. So I've had a fabulous personal return on investment, and I thank you very much.